A new AI model called DeepSeek just crashed the AI party, and the market for that matter. But can it design a better iron farm than ChatGPT, Copilot, or Gemini? I've heard that the results from this model are as good as many of the other well-known AI models. But I should also say that this AI does come with some health warnings about where your data goes, data! and that some of its results seem a little skewed for Western audiences. In a previous video, I asked three well-known AI models a simple question. Could you give me a step-by-step -step guide for building an iron farm on Bedrock Edition? And surprisingly, one of them managed to make something that actually worked. Today I'm going to issue the same challenge to DeepSea, but I'll ask it for a second question too. Could you give me a step-by-step -step guide for building an iron farm on Java Edition? So today we're going to find out if this new AI model that uses cheaper chips, less energy, all of those kinds of things, is up to the task. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Groover and today we're going to be using DeepSeek AI to design an iron farm on both Bedrock Edition and Java Edition. As I've already done something very similar to this, I thought we'd use the very same rules, which is if the instructions are fuzzy or inconsistent in any way, I will use my decisions to benefit the farm which is I will be trying to make the farm work within the confines of the instructions it gives. So let's see how it did. The Bedrock Prompt Could you give me a step-by-step -step guide for building an iron farm on Bedrock Edition? DeepSeek gave me a little tip at the beginning before I start, which is building an iron farm in Minecraft Bedrock Edition can be a bit tricky due to differences in village mechanics compared to Java. However, it is still possible to create a functional iron farm. Below is a step-by-step -step guide to help you build one. Step 1. Gather materials. You'll need the following materials. Building blocks, e.g. cobblestone, wood, etc. Beds, at least 10. Workstations, e.g. composters, at least 10. Signs or trapdoors. Water buckets, fences or walls. Ladders or scaffolding. Hoppers and chests for item collection. Optional name tag to prevent zombie despawning. Okay, zombie says optional, so that's okay. But I don't see any lava on there. So, yeah. We'll see how this goes. Step 2. Choose a location. Build your farm at least 100 blocks away from any villages or beds to avoid interfering with spawning mechanics. Ensure the area is flat or clear out space for the farm. Okay, can't see any villages around. I don't think there's going to be any random beds either. Ooh, there is a village all the way over there, but that's like hundreds of blocks away. That's a long, long way away. So I think we're okay. Step 3. Build the platform. 1. Create a 10x10 10 10 platform at least 10 blocks off the ground, or above the ground, to prevent zombies from scaring villagers during the night. 2. Leave a 2 block gap in the centre of the platform for the water to flow and push iron golems. Right. We can do this. So let's just double check that. It says create a 10x10 10 10 platform. Check. At least 10 blocks above the ground. Check. Leave a gap, leave a two block gap in the center of the platform for water to flow and push iron golems. Check. Step four, add villagers. Create a small room three by three on one side of the platform and place 10 beds inside. Transport 10 villagers into the room using minecarts or boats. Ensure the villagers can access the beds and are linked to them. Let's go try and do that. Okay, let's make sure that I follow those instructions correctly. Step four, add villagers. Create a small three by three room. That is a 3x3 three three room. On one side of the platform and place 10 beds inside it. That is 10 beds inside the 3x3 three three room, which makes it kind of small. And it's on one side of the platform. I've not attached it to the platform. Ensure the villagers can access the beds and are linked to them. I'm going to assume the link to the beds. They're right there. I saw some sparkles earlier, so I think we're okay. Step 5. Add workstations. Place 10 workstations, e.g. composters, near the villagers. Ensure each villager claims a workstation by checking for green particles. We'll add some workstations. Let's go for it. Okay, let's double check that step. Place 10 workstations. So I've got 6, 3, and a 4th. That's going to be 10. Check. Near the villagers. I, I've chosen to place them very near the villagers um, because that's going to help and I'm not doing it wrong. Ensure each villager claims a workstation by checking for green particles. Okay, there were definitely green particles, but if you're in doubt, all of these villagers have now turned into farmers, which is kind of correct. Step 6. 
create the spawning area. Build walls around the platform to prevent iron golems from spawning outside the farm. Leave two block gap in the centre for water to flow and push iron golems into the collection system. Let's just double check this. Build walls around the platform to prevent iron golems from spawning outside the farm. Check. Leave a two block gap in the centre for water to flow and push iron golems into a collection system. Check. Step 7. Add water. Place water in the corners of the platform so it flows towards the centre gap. Ensure the water flows into the gap where iron golems will spawn and be pushed down. Let's see if they've got the calculations correct. Ooh, that's spot on. I do like that. Very nice. Very, very nice. Almost looks like an iron farm. We know that it's not going to work, but there might be some steps later on that will help us towards getting a working iron farm. But let's see what happens. Step 8. Build the collection system. Dig a hole under the centre gap and place hoppers leading to a chest. Uh, just a minute. Yeah, there is already a hole under the centre gap because you told me to build it at least 10 blocks off the ground. So there's going to be a hole. Okay, ensure the hoppers are connected to the chest for automatic item collection. Right, let's have a look at this collection system that I've just made. Dig a hole under the center gap okay check and place hoppers leading to a chest okay check check ensure the hoppers are connected to the chest for automatic item collection check 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 step nine add a zombie oh dear but it does say optional so that's okay i guess to increase spawn rates you can add a zombie to scare the villagers scare the villagers place the zombie in a minecart or behind a fence where it can see the villagers but not harm them Use a name tag to prevent the zombie from despawning. Well, because that is an optional step, we are not going to do it. Not even a little bit. Not even a tiny little bit. Step 10. Test the farm. Wait for iron golems to spawn. There's not enough time in the universe for that. It's never going to happen. They should spawn on the platform and be pushed into the collection system. Nope. If no iron golems spawn, double check that villagers are linked to beds. Yes, they are. Beds and workstations. Yes, they definitely are. The farm is far enough from other villages. Yes, it is. The zombie, if used, is positioned correctly. No no zombie no positioning required this is not shaping up well guys but there is some tips for efficiency still to come so let's read those tips for efficiency build the farm in a loaded chunk or use chunk loaders to keep it running isn't gonna work on bedrock add more villages and beds to increase spawn rates that's like nearly nearly gonna help but not quite use a kill chamber with lava or fall damage to automatically kill iron golems and collect iron i'm gonna add some more villages and some more beds and of course actually make a kill chamber because at the moment that does not a kill chamber make that is actually a golem holding cell and it'll hold the golem forever and a day till the death of the universe but nothing more so i've followed the steps for the tips for efficiency to the letter add more villages and beds to increase spawns if it just said add more villages or beds then I could have added the 10 extra beds required. If it said add more villages and beds and workstations, I could have added the extra workstations and the villages and the beds to make it all work. And this is what we like to call malicious compliance. So now we actually have a kill chamber that will kill things that come through into it. Sadly, at the moment, it's only killing the cats which is a shame. So yeah, this is a, a nice piece of decoration. If you wanted to build something like this, congratulations. Oh no, I can't look. Let's go to the Java one. The prompt. Could you give me a step-by-step -step guide for building an iron farm on Java edition? So this one came with a little introduction which said, Build an iron farm on Minecraft Java edition is a popular project because iron is a crucial resource for crafting and building. Java edition has different village mechanics compared to Bedrock edition making iron farms more efficient and easier to build. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to building a basic iron farm. Step one, gather materials. You'll need the following materials. Building blocks, e.g. cobble, wood, etc. Beds, at least 20. Workstations, e.g. composters, at least 20. Signs or trapdoors. Water buckets, fences and or walls. Hoppers and chests for item collection. And optional, name tag prevent zombie from despawning. Okay, we're definitely going to be doing that one. We, we need that one. That is a requirement. So because all of those items don't actually have specific quantities or specific types of things, we're just going to work it out as we go. Step 2. Choose a location. Build your farm at least 100 blocks away from any other villages or beds to avoid interfering with spawning mechanics. Um, ensure the area is flat or clear out space for the farm. Okay, there is a village right over there but that's like 
300 blocks away so I'm not gonna worry about that and this looks like a nice little space for me to build my farm I think this is good step three build the platform create a 15 by 15 platform at least 20 blocks above the ground to prevent iron golems from spawning outside the farm okay 15 by 15 is a lot but sure leave a two block gap in the center of the platform for water to flow and push iron golems I don't know how we're meant to put a 2x2 two two gap in the middle of a 15x15 15 15 platform, but we'll just have to place it somewhere near the middle. I think that'll do. Okay, let's check this. Create a 15x15 15 15 platform. Um, yep, yeah, 15x15. 15 15. Um, at least 20 blocks above the ground to prevent iron golems from spawning outside the platform or out, outside the farm. Yep, that's at least 20. Leave a 2 block gap in the center. Yeah, I mean, this is off center. But, you know, and follow the instructions. It's very specific. We've got to do this. Step four, add villagers. Create a small room three by three on one side of the platform and place 20 beds inside. That's going to be tight. Transport 20 villagers into the room using minecarts or boats. Ensure the villagers can access the beds and a link to them. We're going to put 20 beds in a 3x3 area. We'll see how that goes. I don't think the villagers are going to be able to link to them all, but we'll do our best. Right, let's check this one. Create a small room 3x3 three three on one side of the platform and place 20 beds inside. Transport 20 villagers into the room using minecarts or boats. Ensure the villagers can access the beds and a link into them. Yeah, I've got 20 beds in there. It's a 3x3 three three room. Let's put some villagers in. Right, that is 20 villagers in. And I did see some green sparkles from villagers, obviously like in the bottom beds. But um, the rest of them can't reach the top beds. But I'm going to ignore that because I can't do much about it. This is exactly what the instructions say. And I'm trying to interpret them as best I can. Step 5. Add workstations. Place 20 workstations, e.g. composters, near the villagers. Ensure each villager claims a workstation by checking for green particles. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a problem because I'm pretty sure in Java they can't link to the workstations or the beds unless they can pathfind to them. So I'm not convinced that we're going to get any linkage here, but I will do my best. Okay, I've laid out the 20 workstations suggested. I can see that quite a few of them still haven't taken on a trade, so they can't actually get to the workstation, but I can't see how I can get past that. I can't change the 3x3 three three room with the villagers in and the bed, so I can't put the workstations inside that. Let's just plow forward. Step 6. Create the spawning area. Build walls around the platform to prevent iron golems from spawning outside the farm. Leave a two block gap in the center for water to flow and push iron golems into the collection system. I can do that. There we go, very simple. So that was build a wall around the platform and make sure the two block gap in the middle is still present. That's it. Step seven, add water. Place water in the corners of the platform so it flows towards the center gap. Okay, it's not gonna make it all the way if it's only the corners. Two, ensure the water flows into the gap where iron golems will spawn and be pushed down. In that case, I feel like I can use a little bit of creative license here, and I've got to ensure that the water flows to the gap. So that's what I'm going to do. There we have it. That was a little bit easier said than done um, because it's got a very strange shape and without it being in the center, it means you've got to kind of do some offsetting of the water flows and I've got like a gap here and, oh, it's not, not the greatest thing, but basically there are no dead spots. Any golem that spawns in here will make its way to the center without question. Step 8. Build the collection system. Dig a hole under the center gap and place hoppers leading to a chest. What hole? I mean, we had to build this 20 blocks off the floor. There's no hole. Ensure the hoppers are connected to the chest for automatic item collection. Okay, we can do that. We don't need to dig a hole, but we'll do the collection thing. Right, so I have kind of done what it's said to do. Dig a hole under the center gap and place hoppers leading to a chest. Ensure the hoppers are connected to the chest. Yes. And um, for automatic item collection. At no point did it say enclose this area. So this is what we've got. Step nine, add a zombie, optional. Um, not in this one, it isn't. We are definitely doing that in this one. <laughs> to increase spawn rates, you can add a zombie to scare the villagers. Great, place a zombie in a minecart or behind a fence where it can see the villagers, but not harm them. Use a name tag to prevent the, prevent the zombie from despawning. The placement of this zombie is gonna be so so important to this farm so i'm going to very carefully place this zombie in a place where i think it's going to make the farm work this might take a few moments i had to place the zombie quite carefully here because i know a little bit about the mechanics on java and i i know that these guys need to sleep now i couldn't think of a way of placing this zombie the bee 
any better than what I've done right here, which I've knocked one of the beds out, so that stays within the 3x3, three three, but that gives it a little peaky hole to see the villagers in the middle. And these beds on either side should block the point of view, so the villagers, when they move outside of that, should have the opportunity to sleep, okay? So when they get into the bed, they should jump out of the bed as well because they're going to be scared, but it means that they get their, re their sleep cycle reset. Also, one of the earlier steps said that you can use walls to prevent golems from spawning. I'm thinking that I probably need to do that to stop the golem from spawning. I think. I don't really know, but we'll see. And we're only going to know if this works once it gets to night time. Step 10, test the farm. Wait for our golems to spawn. They should spawn on the platform and be pushed into the collection system. I've got um, daylight cycle turned off at the moment, so I need to turn that back on to actually do the testing. Two, if no iron golems spawn, double check that. The villagers are linked to beds and workstations. They literally can't be, I'm sorry, it's impossible. The farm is far enough from other villages, check. The zombie, if used, is positioned correctly, check, 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 check. Very, very carefully positioned. I'll, I'll turn on the daylight cycle, right? And we'll see the, the glaring problem with the farm. There we go. The first golem just spawned, and like I said, we'll see the glaring problem with this farm, which is the collection area did not specify any kind of kill mechanic at all. Nothing. So we've still got some tips for efficiency to go through, and this might help us, we'll see. Build the farm in a loaded chunk, or use chunk loader to keep it running. I don't really care about that, I mean you could do, but I don't care. Add more villages and beds to increase spawn rates. Utterly pointless, we're not going to do that. Use a kill chamber with lava. Okay, here we go. Or fall damage. No, 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 fall damage. Fall damage, seriously now. Automatically kill iron golems and collect iron. So basically that gives me the latitude to actually put lava in the kill area to deal with the iron golems. Let's go. Right, as per the tips for efficiency, I've added some lava to the kill area. I had to add a couple of blocks on the side and a couple of signs just to hold the lava up right there. Feeling quite confident, like this is actually a working farm now. Here we go, we've got our first customer. Let's see what happens. Nice, nice, nice. Keep going. Come on. Excellent. It works. So even though this farm is technically working, it took quite a lot of input from me to make sure that it was actually working in a reasonable way. So you could really slim down this farm quite a lot. The killing platform is horrible. 20 villagers, absolutely not needed. 20 beds, absolutely not needed. All of these workstations, absolutely not needed. So, you know, there's a lot to be desired, but... You know what? Deep Seek, well done. This is a working farm. Congratulations.